Like a lumberjack in Alaska, Carnival Cruise Line is cutting. Tons of extremely popular activities, dining options, and services on board their ships. So what's going on with all the cutbacks? Plus, Alaska cruisers listen up. The port of Skagway is getting kind of sketchy, as yet another rock slide happened there yesterday. And this time, I'm going to show you the video of it. Plus, Royal Caribbean cruisers, I have an update for you on the brand new multi-million dollar cruise terminal being built in Galveston. Let's roll the intro. Also, I am really brushing up on my Alaska dad jokes, so fair warning. Hey, hey, welcome to the Midships channel. I'm your Captain Corey. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. And you're gonna have to excuse me because I'm kind of on another level today, as not only am I heavily hopped up on iced coffee, but I'm also on that pre-cruise adrenaline. You know what I'm talking about, as I'm only four days away now from my Alaska cruise on Carnival Splendor. Which leads to a super easy segue to the question of the day. Let me know in the comments below, have you ever cruised in Alaska? Full transparency here though, this is my first time. And because of that, I've been absorbing all of the content put out by other YouTubers here on the platform about what to pack, what to wear, what to expect, and excursions I should do. It's a trove of amazing information. If you have some suggestions for me, why don't you leave them in the comments down below as well. I'll be reading them for a few hours tonight when the video goes live. All right, let's get into today's cruise news. It's going to be a very carnival heavy day as the cruise line is taking a chainsaw, no, a hatchet, no, an ax to some beloved things for Carnival Cruisers. First, one housekeeping note for you Carnival Cruisers booked on the Carnival Paradise in October of next year. Five sailings have now been canceled, so this old Fantasy Class ship can get into dry dock. Now, it's unclear what Carnival has planned for the Paradise while she's there, as she's already received the new red, white, and blue livery. She's been to dry dock recently, but the itineraries affected run from October 8th through October 26th of 2023 all canceled. Now, let's get into some other things that Carnival's doing today, and it's going to be pretty unpopular. First off, can you imagine a Lido deck on a Carnival ship without the Harry Chess contest? No? Neither can I. It's one of my favorite things to watch. I think it's absolutely hilarious. Everybody gets up there on the Lido deck, drinks have been flowing for hours, and you get the hairiest of hairy folks just making fools of themselves out there. But according to Carnival, the Harry Chess Contest is no longer family friendly, and so they're canceling it. Now, just how raunchy or randy of a Harry Chess Contest have you seen in your days? Personally, my favorite part of it was always the Tarzan yelling part. You know, a bunch of grown men going, oh! Don't tell me you didn't just try it too. And the Harry Chess Contest is not the only thing getting cut today from Carnival Cruise Line as the brand has announced that they're cutting back a wide range of dining services on their ships. Now, to be fair, this is basically cutting back an hour or two or like a small tweak. But like many Carnival cruisers, I'm set in my ways by now and Carnival's upsetting the apple cart here, at least for me and probably for you as well. Now, the first cutback we need to talk about is the 24 hour pizza. It's no longer 24 hour pizza. It'll only be open from 9 a.m. to 4 a.m. So it closes down for like five hours in the twilight pre-dawn kind of period. And it's not just the 24 hour pizza that's seeing its hours cut back. My absolute favorite part of any carnival cruise is the sea day brunch. And unfortunately it has not escaped the chopping block either. Typically it runs through 1 p.m. But now carnival will be closing it instead at noon. So if you like to sleep in on a sea day and saunter down at 1230 for sea day brunch, you're about to be disappointed. So you're starting to see a pattern here, right? Most of these cuts on Carnival are food related. And guess what? The third food related cutback that's going down, a very popular option is the complimentary continental room service breakfast that you can order in your room. Carnival's doing away with the door hangers completely. And now you're going to have to call room service and put your breakfast order in the night before or the morning of. But you know who isn't cutting back? 
me in my Amazon affiliate store. I've just dropped two brand new shirt designs. Here's one of them right here. We're all in the same boat. There's also a cheeky little pineapple shirt in there. You might wanna check it out. It's a great way to gear up for your next cruise. There's a link in the description below. Just click the one that says Amazon store. And one more thing here, can you confirm this to me? I seem to remember that before the cruise shut down at Sea Day Brunch, the steak and eggs was actually filet and eggs. Am I right about that or am I just totally confused? Wow, that was a hurricane of changes coming to Carnival Cruise Line. And speaking of hurricanes, you know that between August and October, it's peak hurricane season in the Atlantic, right? Well, I wanna remind you that we're gonna to need to start keeping an eye on this because despite the fact that it's been a pretty quiet and sleepy year weather-wise so far, the National Hurricane Center has just come out saying that they believe in the next few months we're gonna see several named hurricanes entering the Caribbean. And that spells trouble and changes for a lot of cruises. So to get prepared, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you don't wanna miss any updates on hurricanes that could impact your cruise in the coming months. Now, Royal Caribbean cruisers, your time has come. We're gonna roll into our next story, and that is about the brand new terminal that Royal Caribbean is building in Galveston, Texas. All right, I want you to take a look at this. This is aerial imagery of the brand new $126 million cruise terminal that Royal Caribbean is building in Galveston. It's set to open in November of this year. The terminal is nearing completion and it's gonna be home to the allure of the seas, which if you didn't know is one big old chungus of an Oasis class ship. Galveston, your cruise options are definitely on the glow up. Let's keep the cruise news moving further west and a lot further north. We need to take things up to Alaska where rock slides have been happening more and more frequently at the dock in Skagway. And yet another one occurred just yesterday impacting the White Pass Railroad dock. And this rock slide, it actually forced the Norwegian Encore to pull away from the dock to avoid damage. This all went down around 5 p.m. local time yesterday at the time of the incident, there were four ships in port, Norwegian Encore, Holland America Nordam, Majestic Princess, as well as the Radiance of the Seas. Thankfully, no injuries were reported and no cruise ships were damaged. And I'm pretty sure I promised I'd show you the video of the rock slide. So here you go. You can see it's not really all that big, but if you were a cruiser walking down the dock when this all started happening, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be very happy and you might be very hurt as well. This is obviously a growing concern up in Skagway. Local and state officials have met with the owners of the White Pass Railway dock, and they're trying to come up with a temporary and a permanent solution to this rock slide problem in the area. So hopefully something can happen sooner than later. Otherwise, I don't think Skagway is gonna continue to be as popular of a port until the new dock opens up. So there you go. You typically expect rain in Alaska this time of year but not necessarily rocks raining down on you as well. Hey, you heard that one about the drunk geologist, right? He finally hit rock bottom. Well, now that I've driven you to push the unsubscribe button on my channel, I wanna thank you so much for stopping by today and watching all the way through the episode. And yeah, actually maybe resubscribe, please. If you haven't already subscribed, it's a great time. I have a huge growing channel here on YouTube with a goal of reaching 20,000 subscribers by the end of this year, I think we can do it and you pushing that button goes a heck of a long way to helping me with that goal. Thank you so much for stopping by today and until next time, we'll see ya on the midships. So I have a problem with my flight to Alaska. I booked my airfare through Carnival, through the cruise line, and when I went to put my flight for Alaska Airlines in my Alaska account on my phone, my name showed up as Miss Corey and I'm pretty sure I'm a Mr. Corey. So I called into Carnival to let them know since I booked through them and they said, oh no, you have to call Alaska because they're the vendor that can change your name. So I said, fine, fine, fine. I called Alaska. Well, guess what they said? Call Carnival. Here we go. It's about to be an adventure.